Good evening, folks. Uh, first time putting a video up on my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm located between Edna and Ganado. We mostly sell Gardo bales, five by five and a halves. Uh, good day. Uh, never had any complaints about it. But anyhow, uh, we're gonna I'm gonna take you along. That's a make one load. I got a uh, 2005 Dodge 3500 with a six-speed standard. Um, the trailer I'm using is a Mammoth A trailer. They don't make them anymore, but it's been a good trailer. We did some modifying to it to make it a little more rigid. That way it don't flex. But uh, anyhow, enough of that. I'm gonna, uh, we just got to the A field. I'm gonna take you back to the back, get, you, get us loaded up, and get the load of Victoria. I'll see you in a little bit. Uh, there they are we uh, typically are actually never usually get the hay out when it's this wet we got about two inches of rain in the last two or three days so uh, yeah Again, this hay, it's um, we don't typically haul hay out of the field when it's wet like this. And of course, uh, the first time making a video, it's gonna rain two to three inches in a few days. And it's gonna look like we have a rain or uh, hay just sitting in the water. So uh, typically it's not, it's usually very dry, very high quality bales. So anyhow, um, I'll get into the equipment more as the uh, time goes by, but uh, right now let's just get on the road uh everything looks good brake lights work right everything looks good so we'll uh i'm gonna give the call, guy a call here in a second and then i'll um be on our way see you in a little bit Okay, so the guy loved the hay. He uh, smelled good, looked good, real nice and leafy. Um, he, went ahead and cut, he went ahead and committed to six more loads for next year, so uh, must be pretty good hay. So anyhow, um, while we're here, before I go home, uh, while we saw some daylight, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that hay trailer that I told you I was gonna show y'all. So let's go check it out. 
quit running to too many people. Wonder what I'm doing. So anyway, here we go. Excuse the truck, I know it's dirty, but the pay seat is finally over the hauling part off. Uh, I'll uh, wash it up real good. I know it needs a lot of paint, but anyway, there's those braces I told you about. I was putting the angle pieces. But uh, if you look here, you see the I beam. We added that to it. Because before, the weight was all um, resting about here on the front and about the same on the back, back there. So we had that angle I, I, I beam, sorry, I beam, a little further up. We're there. Down to there. I think we've got about a 40 foot joint, cut it in half, so it should be two 20 footers. So we did that, and between that, the extra bracing, and the ankle, extra angle pieces, uh, it is very rigid, it doesn't sway anymore. Oh, then we added these on to the back. So that way, when the bells don't want to pull off the uh, haste pipe because they're so tight, um, that keeps it from uh, coming off the trailer. In fact, before we put all this stuff on here, the uh, I was going on a real rough road, and when I got to the place to go to dump it, it came around the back, and one of my bells fell off. So uh, to finish it out that year, I put two-inch, you know, uh, regular ratchet straps in the back, and that did all right. And then during off season we put this angle iron on here. So uh yes sir. But it looks real good. I'm happy with it. I just uh I need to get it it stays outside 24-7 all year long. So of course it's got rust and uh whatnot. Uh, I'm happy with the workmanship they did. Um, like I said, that's mammoth is no longer service or no longer business. But uh, they did good work. Um, I end up getting something later on eventually. They can haul uh, 16 bales of the five footers or 20 of the four footers. So, anyhow. All right, let's go home. It's getting late. I'm tired. Appreciate you coming along with me today and uh hope you like what you see if you do please like it share it subscribe uh hopefully we'll have some more videos coming in the future and uh, i'll get better as we go i appreciate your time and hope you have a good one